why do I not think that is not the video this week which I'm shooting several videos at a time because I might be busy not the video topic and look 50 some ounces 50 some ounces and that gets you diabetes and imagine they wanted to outlaw drinks this big because it's 50 some ounces once again, not the video this week. Uh, I want to talk about my, the worst movie I've ever seen. Because I haven't talked about that. Now, the worst movie I've ever seen is Manos, The Hands of Fate. But I have recently been told that that does not count. Because it was an independent movie made on a bet. Made because of a bet that the guy couldn't make a movie. Okay, so I was told that does not count as the worst movie I've ever seen. It has to be a major motion picture. And it cannot be a comedy movie or a, a like concert movie. So that fluffy movie, I'm sorry, but I can't list you as the worst either. Though I didn't see you, your trailer made me want to murder you and everyone in your audience. And Cat Williams... The five minutes I watched of your stand-up movie that made me want to kill all black people. I'm sorry I can't list yours as the worst either. So I've been told it has to be a major motion picture. And it can't be a movie made on a bet. Which was Monos the Hands of Fate. Which by the way, Monos the Hands of Fate. Horrible movie. Horrible movie. But you have to see it because it's just so horrible. Um... So that leaves movies I've either turned off halfway during because they were either really bad or I was bored or movies I left on but was doing other things during. So that is Superman 3, which I turned off after the first hour because it was just bullcrap. It was a Superman comedy Starring Richard Pryor. Okay. The only person in it from the first two Supermen was Christopher Reeves. And that's because he doesn't have a career. So Superman 3, which I turned off. Uh, Star Trek 4, which is a Star Trek comedy. Um, which was just horrible because it's a Star Trek comedy. And they completely fucked up the time continuity. They traveled back in time by traveling around the sun or through the sun or something. And they had to save whales. Um, Jennifer's body, which was just boring as fuck. I actually was sewing buttons on shirts during that movie. I was so bored. Or... Um, There are some action movies, but most of them were, were like enough action to at least keep me entertained. The second Transformers was god awful, but I just stopped watching them after that. So out of those three, I'm not sure what one to pick because two are sequels. So I guess we'll have to go with Jennifer's Body because it's not a sequel. Since it can't be an independent movie and it can't be a, a... We'll eliminate sequels too and we'll go with Jennifer's Body. Which I just found really, really boring. Really, really badly written. And really, really badly acted. To be fair though, Megan Fox was hot in it. And that was the selling point of the movie. Which, making a Megan Fox porno would have been just as good. She could have called herself an actress during it, I suppose. It would have involved just as much acting as Jennifer's body did. Um, so yes, those are the worst movies I've ever seen, non-independent. I would recommend you go see all of them. 
and sit down and watch all of them in a row. Here's why. Then you will decide that Hollywood is murder. That slogan will never catch on, but Hollywood is murder. So Superman 3, just absolute bullshit. It, it starts out with a 10-minute uh, slapstick scene involving Superman and Metropolis. And then goes into Richard Pryor becoming a computer hacker. And an hour in, I was not only bored, I wanted to throw something through the TV. And it's about a guy trying to raise the price of coffee so he can get rich. That's Superman 3 in a nutshell. It's horrible. Superman 4 is actually better than Superman 3. Star Trek 4 is a Star Trek comedy where they go back to the 80s to save whales. That's all I need to say about Star Trek 4. And Jennifer's body is just long, boring, badly written, and starring Megan Fox who can't act. Worst movie, Jennifer's Body. Go watch all three of those. And go see Manos, The Hands of Fate. In theaters, never.